Thank you, Jennifer, and uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ting Ying Huang, and I am a solution consultant of Web of Science in Clever, uh, Cleverbit Analytics. Uh, welcome to today's training about Web of Science platform. And I think during this one hour training, I'd like to uh, share, uh, with, share with all of you, uh, except Web of Science, also some kind of very useful tools and helpful tools, just like EndNote, uh, EndNote Online, uh, totally free uh, reference management uh, tools, and also Copernial for one click PDF for text uh, download, and also uh, just like uh, Problems platform for peer review and uh, better uh, your research impact enhancement platform. Uh, so let's begin our today's training. Uh, you can see here, it is the uh, main outline for today's main part sharing. Uh, uh, why we should pay attention to the academic papers and also literatures and why uh, scientific information is important. And after the brief introduction of Web of Science platform, uh, it is the main part of our today's training, uh, how to use Web of Science as a tool to increase the uh, research effectiveness during the whole process of our uh, daily research. And you can see, uh, besides Web Science Platform, uh, very famous SCI, SSCI, and also ANHCI, you can see EndNote, Publins, and also I have mentioned a Copernio will be all included in today's sharing. Uh, first, I would like to uh, talk something about the role of scientific information play in the whole uh, research workflow. You can see here, uh, from the research questions and research hypothesis to the research e experiment and also data collection and data analysis. And finally, we go to the discovery and uh, maybe uh, some uh, papers and literature comes out. Uh, you can see it is the uh, basic of research uh, workflow and the whole process. Although we can find lots of a lot of detailed steps during the whole research process, uh, we have to say uh, our research always starts from research literatures or papers reading or uh, also uh, literature review. Uh, we start from literature based on previous research and, and new ones cited by others. Uh, all of the relevant research are strongly connected to each other. And here you can see the general framework of SCI paper. Uh, the main parts are intro introduction, materials, and the method, results, and discussions. In some way, can be tra translated into uh, why, how, what, and the further influences of our researchers. Uh, to know the research basis and where we are standing on, existing uh, literature will help quite a lot. In some degree, uh, we have to say, literatures are the premise of the high quality research. So when doing the literature research or some kind of paper reading, uh, have you ever faced the challenges of ocean of data and ocean of information? Uh, I believe the answer is yes. Uh, which one is the most valuable? Uh, which one is the most relevant of my research? And uh, which one is relatively high impact? Which one should I pay more attention to and start my research? These are all the main issues, challenges, when we doing the uh, literature review or paper reading. However, when Web of Science come to us, uh, we could find everything change. Uh, the unordered ocean of data will be organized or reorganized into knowledge of network and linkage. Uh, and then, all of the information can be connected to each other. Uh, this kind of knowledge network assists us to be more efficient in literature review and uh, paper searching. 
you can see on the left, uh, all these papers are on audit and they are separated from each other. Uh, it is very, uh, very hard and difficult for us to identify relevant and important papers from this kind of data mass. Uh, but on the right, all the papers and information and data are organized and connected with each other based on citations. And from uh, one of them, you can easily find related and relatively high impact others and even research funds from them. Uh, let's uh, talk a bit more about Web of Science and its core value. I have mentioned it, the citations. Uh, I'd like to introduce Web of Science from the four dimensions, the wides of uh, coverage, depths in data, uh, data quality based on journal selection criteria, and also citation index, which makes everything connected to each other. Uh, what Web of Science contains uh, I think in this page of slides, uh, you are familiar with the first line in purple, uh, which is SCI Science Citation Index. Uh, it focuses on natural science with more than 9,000 academic journals in more than 170 research categories. Except natural science, Web of Science also con uh, contains literature about social science and arts and humanity, which can be found in SSDI and also ANHCI. All of these three, uh, all of these three uh, collect high quality uh, academic journals articles from all, from all around the world. Not only journal articles, Web of Science also contains conference proceedings and in CPCI and also book citations about academic books in BKCI and so on, uh, you can see from this slide. And this kind of data uh, provide us a more full scale data set and database for uh, research data and the information. In Web of Science, our independent editorial team help us to turn the sea of scholarly information into the core of science and research with high criteria journal selections. Uh, this kind of high criteria in journal selecting uh, help uh, well, make Web of Science not only contain journals and information uh, uh, with comparatively huge influence and uh, also high quality grounded on, uh, grounded on uh, a kind of peer review. Uh, the earliest records in SCI and SSCI dates back to uh, 100 years ago. Uh, the deeper uh, long-term literature help us to review the history uh, of certain research directions and certain research topics and also its methodologies For, and further assist us to uh, research deeply and comprehensively and also cap, uh, catch up with the research tendencies in the future. Uh, the last category of Web of Science I want to share with you uh, is the core value of Web of Science, uh, the Citation Index. It is created and first named by Dr. Eugene Garfield in the year of 1955 uh, with, uh, with an article published in Science. He claimed that through citation and citation index, a linkage and a intellectual link is created between research works and papers. Uh, let's talk, uh, uh, talk a bit more about, uh, about a citation index uh, with this kind of a picture you can see here. Uh, the fundamental concept of Web of Science is to provide a citation index between published works on a multidisciplinary scale. Uh, whenever a paper is cited, a topical link is created between the citing article and the cited references. Let's say we have found uh, this uh, paper published in the year of 2010 uh, to be very interesting and highly relevant to my research area. And I'd like to uh, cite it. Uh, by next step, 
uh, by starting the citing references, uh, we will be able to look back in time and understand the building blocks of the 2010 research. And on the other hand, after this paper, uh, this 2010 paper was published, it is also possible that this paper would be cited by other subsequent papers and other subsequent authors. Uh, this information uh, is captured as time cited. Uh, what's more, uh, there are other papers which may have the similar cited references as this 2010 paper. And that is what we call related records. Uh, what is related records? Articles that cite the same work, same paper, uh, have a subject relationship. A more, the more cited references to articles shared, the closer the subject relationship they have. Uh, citation linkage and network is a very useful tool uh, which allows, you, allows us to move forward and backward in time, discovering the relationships between published works and papers. Then in the next part, uh, we are going to discover how Web of Science helped us to accelerate the research process and promote it. Uh, before we start the next part, I just want to make sure, uh, uh, is, my, uh, is my voice clear and can you, all of you see my screen very, and slides very clear? If it is, okay, that's, so let's continue. Uh, in this part, we, are, we will go into Web of Science platform and see how we can use it better. Uh, actually, high quality information and data and helpful tools in Web of Science uh, empowers the whole in, in innovative research process. Uh, when finding research topics, I believe all of you pay attention to research fronts and research hotspots uh, in your research areas or related disciplines. But how to identify research fronts and hotspots? It is very difficult for all of us. Uh, actually, the annual uh, research fronts report might give a hand. Uh, we clarivate analytics. We uh, cooperate with China's Academy of Science to publish, uh, to publish research fronts reports every year from the year of 2014. Uh, with the link here, you can download the latest one, research fronts 2019 uh, issued uh, last year in uh, early November. Uh, grounded on the outstanding literature analysis of China's Academy of Science, and high quality data from Web of Science and also ESI platform. Uh, research funds selected more than 100 research funds in 10 research areas and disciplines of natural science and social science also. Uh, the list here show us the research funds in ecology and environmental science uh, of last year's reports. And also here you can find the research fronts in e economics, uh, psychology, and also other uh, social sciences. Uh, just like shared economy and big data analysis, these hot topics in our everyday life rank very top uh, uh, among, the, uh, among the list here. Uh, we collaborate, also co uh, collaborate with science, uh, uh, China's Academy of Engineering to publish engineering fronts reports every year. Uh, this report issues, uh, uh, this report issues identify the engineering research fronts and also engineering development fronts in nine fields based on both Web of Science literatures and papers and also the event pattern data. So it is very uh, important when we doing some uh, engineering sciences research. Additionally, in social science areas, we also uh, do, uh, we also can do a lot of deeper analysis with the help of citation and keyword analysis. Uh, 
Here in these two pictures, we analyze SSCI papers published in uh, published by um, National Science Social Science Foundation Project of China and try to find out the research focuses and hotspots and main uh, directions and the connections among these topics and keywords. Uh, you can do also do this with the help of our uh, products just like Web of Science data and paper and also some uh, analyzing and uh, visualize, uh, visualization uh, products just like DDA or his sites just like this to do this kind of citation and linkage and keywords analysis. It is also meaningful that we recognize the, that importance of interdisciplinary research across natural science and social science and even uh, arts and humanities. Uh, in the year of 2015, Nature has launched a special issue uh, surrounding interdisciplinary research and review its importance. Uh, the paper in Nature at the end of last year, you can see here, reveals the fact that interdisciplinary research is becoming a norm. Uh, from the core citation network on the left, researchers find the increase of interdisciplinary thinking uh, is, is seen across the disciplines and show no signs of uh, slowing. In addition, inter interdisciplinary research also means a lot in funding applications. Here we can see NSF of the USA uh, supports interdisciplinary research through a number of mechanisms. And also in China, uh, just like uh, NSFC and also social science foundations, they have special mechanism for this kind of uh, interdisciplinary research. In our Web of Science platform, uh, what you can search for is not limited to natural science and, te and technology. In SSCI and ANHCI, high quality journals and impact research, uh, a research output help us to find a way to connect natural science uh, with arts and also uh, social science. Uh, to, uh, and to do this kind of uh, interdisciplinary research much better and easier. With more than 5,000 journals uh, in, from more than 80 research areas and disciplines, SSCI and ANHCI cover what you need for arts and social science and even interdisciplinary research all around the world. Uh, you can see here there are the uh, 58 disciplines mainly in SSCI and also here it is the uh, they, uh, there are the uh, 20, 28 uh, disciplines and research areas in ANHCI architectures, literatures and social uh, and, and Asia studies you can find here are all here in ANHCI and also here shows the main document types included in ANHCI. Uh, just in type of review, you can find quite a lot of diversities, just like book review, film review, theater review, and also art exhibit review. Also, there are lots of literature types, uh, like uh, like uh, just like uh, poetry and also new item, bibliography, and even scripts you can find in ANHCI. Rich document types in ANHCI help us to find whatever we want, but still very high quality. Then we are going to have a look at how Web of Science help us in each of the five steps uh, during the whole research process and uh, ecosystem. Uh, today, uh, we take architect uh, artificial intelligence, AI, as an example to do the uh, very clear sharing. Uh, AI is quite hot a topic least the least years in almost every industry and every works, all works in all of our lives. Uh, what can Web of Science tell us about AI? Uh, let's have a look. First of all, we can use ESI, re uh, ESI research prompts 
to find research funds and hotspots and hot topics related to AI research areas. Uh, besides yearly research France reports, just like those we cooperated with China's Academy of Science, uh, ESI Research France is also a very ideal way to identify research fronts more relevant to our research topics and main directions. ESI Research France are keywords clusters of highly cited papers based on co-citation analysis. And in ESI, you can search for research funds through two ways. You can see here, first, we can directly select one, select and choose one of the ESI research fields. And second, uh, you can include the keywords of your research topic you are interested in. In AI subtopic uh, here, uh, just like uh, the natural language processing, we find nine highly cited paper consist in this uh, research front cluster. And three of them, three of these nine papers comes from the same author, Eric Cambria, uh, an assistant professor from Nanyang Technolo uh, Technological uh, uh, Universities. He can be considered as a rising star in AI area and has been awarded as AI's, uh, AI's 10 to watch of IEEE. Uh, through ESI uh, research funds and highly cited paper, we can also uh, on the one hand find the essential high impact articles and on the other hand, identify related research funds and uh, uh, re representative researchers uh, for tracking to the latest. And uh, then go to Web of Science platform to do a paper search for AI topic. Uh, on our library website, we can easily find a link uh, to Web of Science platform in the data set here, the databases here, and just click the link, we can uh, visit our Web of Science platform very easily. And it is the home page of Web of Science platform. Uh, in the middle, you can see it is the searching area, and we can use keywords or journal title or whatever you want to search. Uh, what you uh, what you are focused on here and also you can find a select area below here we can choose SCI or other sub sub data sets and uh, also time span uh, for which time you you'd like to focus on uh, here you can just take it take them and choose the right time span uh, you would like to focus on Hi, hello, Ting Ying. Hi. Uh, sorry, just to interrupt. Uh, I just want to highlight some uh, like differences okay. between your screen capture with our collection. Because okay. uh, some of the uh, indexes we don't actually have access to. So maybe later, uh, closer to the end, I will just uh, share a screen capture of how uh, the uh, the home page, landing page will look uh, from okay. our side. Yeah. Okay, okay. thank you, Jane. Oh, please continue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when search for papers uh, related to our research topics and re research directions, how to write a search query might become the first questions for all of us. Uh, actually, it is very important to, to choose uh, uh, appropriate, uh, appropriate, uh, appropriate keywords and choose suitable uh, search fields and also use and not and also all uh, very correctly when write the research query. Uh, it directly influence what kind of paper data sets show us and give us back. Uh, in this help page on the top right, you can hear in the uh, red, in red words, you can see here in the top right, uh, you can find uh, tips for how to write uh, correct and appropriate search queries and also some short videos here to help you uh, to start and become a master for paper searching. 
you can use the linkage to uh, uh, to visit our online training uh, website to see some now to watch some short videos for further training. Uh, now take the subtopic of AI uh, just like here deep learning as an example. Uh, we do topic searching here in Web of Science platform. Uh, just enter deep learning here in the searching area and we choose uh, topic search here. Um, and maybe you can select some of the sub, sub data sets here, just like SCI, or maybe if you'd like to have some interdisciplinary research, you can also choose SSCI or ANSCI like this, uh, and then click search. Uh, we can easily find more than 20,000 papers uh, focusing on deep learning in Web of Science platform. Um, so which one should I read first and which, uh, which paper should I pay more attention to? Um, in the ocean of paper and uh, a kind of uh, data ocean, uh, uh, it is very difficult to identify and find a way directly to what we really need. However, uh, there is a button uh, really uh, helpful to, uh, really helpful to uh, identify the high impact articles. Uh, it is time-cited. You can find on the top here, uh, this button time-cited in Web of Science. With one click of this button time-cited, you can rank all this uh, 20,000 papers by time-cited, uh, which means how many times it has been cited by other papers and other uh, authors after its publication. Then I think uh, there might be one uh, paper quickly uh, catch your eyes. Uh, the paper ranked top one here. We find that uh, it has an icon uh, of orange trophy uh, named highly cited paper on the right. Uh, what kind of paper can be seen and as a highly cited paper? paper uh, I will introduce later. And also look at, uh, look at this paper in detail. Uh, we find out that it is published on Nature a highly cited paper published in a famous journal, Nature. Uh, we could click its title to enter its full record uh, page to explore a bit more for it. And this one is the uh, full text, a uh, full record page of this paper. Uh, I'm not sure whether you are very familiar with the three authors shown here. Actually, they are Lacan from uh, Facebook, Hinton from uh, Google, and also uh, Professor Banjo. Uh, they are known as the big three in deep learning area. Um, with just one click time cited, we quickly identify uh, one of the uh, one of the quite essential paper, uh, which we have to read in some degree uh, when doing this kind of uh, relevant research and uh, literature review. Um, based on this paper, uh, we can utilize citation network to search deeper, further, and also uh, reach to the latest. Uh, on the on the right, you can find the. Uh, citation networks here, uh, just like the time cited shows how many times it is cited after its public uh, after its publishing, and also be, uh, below below it you can see the uh, cited references. Uh, it shows the 103 cited references. I'm sorry. Okay, so continue. Yeah. There, there was some feedback, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's all sorted out. Mm. Okay. Uh, once again, in the citing articles, which means uh, the the more than uh, nine thousand uh, time cited uh, citing articles of this uh, big series paper, you can. Also, once again, use the burden of time cited here to identify very important articles in this uh, uh, relevant and afterwards uh, research. And here we find the first one, uh, also a, a kind of a highly cited paper here. And, and we find this one uh, focuses on AlphaGo, uh, which beats almost all first class Go players all around the world. And it's also uh, the two principals and founders of AlphaGo program. 
uh, grounded on the essential paper written by the big three of deep learning, uh, this kind of development is uh, are created by them. And also, on the other hand, uh, we can click the number of cited references to discover more about the uh, 103 cited references and to see uh, what kind of research base uh, for the uh, for the uh, big three's paper. And here uh, we we can use them to uh, to discover for more research foundations and research bases. And during that, we can also find this very important paper uh, from uh, uh, Dr. Uh, from Professor Bangio about deep learning in the year of 2013, and also a uh, and also a dramatic, highly cited paper uh, building the research basis. Now it is quite exciting to find that with time cited button and the whole citation networks networks, which means citing articles, time cited, and uh, cited references. Uh, we can easily identify the high impact papers even in a totally new research fields and begin with it uh, on the one hand to dig deeper with cited references to gain research foundations and on the other hand to get more insights into the latest to catch up with the research development and also trend uh, through the citing references and also uh, explore more widely with related records here. Uh, that is the way citations index means a lot when doing literature review and help us to identify the important papers uh, for, for the reading uh, during our research process. Uh, except time cited button, uh, we can also use ESI highly cited paper and ESI hot papers uh, to find and identify high impact and high quality papers. Uh, you can see here, uh, they are the, uh, the main meaning of ESI highly cited paper and, highly, uh, and hot papers. Uh, they are very uh, high impact, uh, impact articles and papers during the 10 years and during the uh, this one years, that is two years, uh, you can use the two buttons uh, here on the left in Web of Science. Uh, just take the uh, button, uh, highly cited paper in field and also maybe hot papers in fields and uh, click refine. Uh, Web of Science will filter all the ESI uh, highly cited papers and hot papers for you in the uh, uh, this deep learning area uh, for um, further reading. Hi, hello, Ting. Sorry to interrupt you again. Um, those I want to clarify that those icons, the hot paper and the highly cited paper, those are building feature with ESI subscription, right? Yeah. Uh, but we don't have ESI. Just want to give you this heads up. Yeah. Okay. So, so actually, yeah. So actually, we cannot see the 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 uh, the, uh, the, um, the hot paper and then highly cited in fields icon uh, from our web of science uh, interface. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, for ESI yeah. platform, uh, except uh, highly cited paper, paper and hot paper, mm -hmm. I have mentioned that uh, the ESI research fronts is very useful for researchers to identify the hot spots and hot mm -hmm. topics in their research topics. So yeah. maybe in the future we can uh, maybe try some trials and for ESI to uh, have a try maybe. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's one option, but uh, I just want to clarify this in case yeah, people yeah, yeah. are looking for those icons and then couldn't identify any. So I want to just uh, uh, make this clear. Okay. Um, can, I, can I just add one uh, another uh, feedback uh, while mm -hmm. we are doing this session? So. I think uh, even though we don't have EIS at this moment, uh, there is a way. Like there, are, uh, since we have the metrics in bubble science, anyways, so there is actually a way to uh, to find out whether those papers are highly cited or not using some basic calculation. Um, so you see, like for example, on this screen sharing, uh, the first article deep learning has got a citation of close to 10,000. This is really already impressive, but how uh, uh, how to say this? So how to put this? Um, it's um, sometimes when a paper 
it's labeled highly cited paper. It it has some um um uh, it, a factor of time time duration in it. Uh, because we typically know uh, when the paper is published for like 10 years, they tend to get more citations than those uh, published um, within one or two years. So this is natural, like when time goes by, we get more citations. So the, uh, the algorithm, I assume, uh, of ESI uh, labels some papers as cited, uh, highly cited is uh, also put into consideration of the time, like when the paper was published. Uh, is it correct? So this is uh, something that I want to highlight uh, of the time as the factor. And also the hot papers, like they were, the criteria is even more demanding, like they need to be published within a certain few months, right? So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, the calculation can be done uh, by using the, uh, the citation counts in total and also the time uh, when the time uh, of that paper getting published. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, another thing that uh, Tingo mentioned uh, is that we also have access to insights. So that's another uh, little bit more advanced tool uh, that is also available at Clarivate Analytics that uh, is more useful for measuring research impact. So I assume that uh, trying to measure highly cited papers more easily in insights, but that's really leads to another very even more lengthy discussion about how to use insight. So, so I just want to clarify this in people in case people are confused. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, sorry about this. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think yeah the the time for uh, when the public uh, the paper is published is very uh, one of the issues influence whether it can become a highly cited paper. On the other hand, I think uh, what kind of category research category or uh, research uh, disciplines it belongs to uh, might also uh, be a kind of influence. Um, uh, but uh, just. After this page, you can see uh, we'd like to share something about time cited, the limited of time cited, and we can use other buttons in Web of Science to identify uh, very high impact papers. Uh, uh, well, I uh, I have been always emphasizing the importance of time cited, but I think some of you might have think about uh, its limitation. So here I'd like to share some uh, considerations just like here. Uh, on the one hand, how about new items that may not have been around for long enough to accumulate citation activities, just like Jennifer has mentioned, the time might influence it. And on the other hand, how about many disciplines uh, show little or less citation activities comparing to, uh, with others, uh, just like in social science, uh, the citation activity is quite less and uh, not that kind of active in comparing to uh, those disciplines in natural science and technologies, uh, just like uh, 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 just like uh, medicine or life sciences. Uh, their uh, uh, citation activities are very strong. Um, so, how about uh, how? Web of Science uh, conceive, uh, how Web of Science provide us uh, with this kind of uh, uh, problems. Actually, Web of Science provide us with another indicators uh, called uh, named as uh, usage count uh, to uh, deal with it. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, we can see uh, usage count is in I, uh, item level usage mat matrix. Uh, it calculate times of visiting and saving of records in Web of Science platform. And in terms of quali qual qualitative, qualitative user uh, preferences and uncounted user behavior into a kind of quantitative number of usage count. Uh, further, it helps us to identify the latest but also very highlighted important papers. Uh, in Web of Science platform, you can see just next to the button of time cited, we can find the button of uh, usage count um, and use it with just click it. Uh, we can easily rank all of the papers by number of usage count here. 
uh, with previous methods, we quickly find important papers to read first or pay more attention to. Uh, but in such a big area of AI uh, research and deep learning, uh, where is my research directions and subtopics? Uh, where should I go further? Uh, actually, in Web of Science, with the help of SCI for Natural Science, SNCI for Social Science, and ANSCI for Arts and Humanities, we can gain more insights when doing a kind of interdisciplinary research. Now, uh, take a cross of AI and uh, linguistic as an uh, incidence. In Web of Science category, uh, we take linguistic and language and uh, uh, linguistic and also another one is li language and linguistics here there's two and then uh, we click refine uh, and all of the ai related papers included in language and linguistic research areas uh, will be refined and uh, show for us uh, also here, maybe you can use uh, yes, I highly cited paper to again uh, refine the very high important, uh, very important papers in this limited research areas. Uh, for this one, a uh, very high, uh, highly cited paper uh, from the Professor Petter, uh, published on March last year, uh, easily come to us. Uh, it's also Professor Patton uh, founded the Society of Computation in Linguistic in the year of 2017 and can be regarded as one of the representative researchers in these areas uh, for these years. So with uh, the, uh, the refine of Web of Science categories and disciplines, and also for the uh, interdisciplinary research, we can do some kind of uh, uh, refine and to focus more on our uh, own disciplines and research areas. Uh, it is very interesting that in research categories of deep learning and AI, except those disciplines in science and uh, also technologies, uh, there are also many disciplines related to education and uh, also uh, psychology and other social science categories such as information sciences and the management here. Uh, it can be regarded as a kind of a cross of uh, natural science and the social science. And with the help of web of science categories, you you can focus on whatever you want and also do this kind of interdisciplinary research. Uh, after identifying the key papers that we are interested in, uh, how can we obtain the full text PDF of the paper? Uh, here, Web of Science provides us uh, access and entrance easily to find the full text. Uh, first of all, I'd like to share with you something about open access, uh, just like uh, just OA. Uh, if a paper uh, has been open access, we could obtain the full text PDF totally free instead of through journal subscriptions. Uh, in Web of Science platform, we can refine open access here on the left. You can see here uh, by, filt uh, by filtering and just click uh, the free full text button, uh, we can uh, get the full text uh, for this kind of open access articles. Uh, what's more, uh, I, uh, we can consider the open access as a trend in academic publishing. Uh, taken, take, taking the nearly 10 years data uh, of Web of Science as an example, more than 40% of highly cited papers has been directly uh, available through open access. Uh, for those papers have not been open access, uh, with a few buttons clicks here, uh, we can also get the full text uh, uh, oh, or get, get the full text uh, those our universities have subscribed here. 
uh, for the uh, for text obtaining, uh, there is a very uh, lovely plugin named Copernio that I want to uh, share with you. Uh, Copernio helps to uh, realize the uh, a kind of one click access to a full text PDF. Uh, it is a kind of automatically for text searching, and uh, just uh, just clicking. Uh, one button you can see here, the green one uh, to view PDF, the full text of PDF will be found and show to us. Uh, there, there is a, a, a download linkage here for Copernio. Uh, you can have a try by yourself later. In addition, uh, we can find uh, the author email address in the author uh, information in Web of Science. Uh, uh, with this kind of email address, we can email the authors uh, and maybe ask for the PDF for text directly by ourselves and build some kind of connections with the authors directly. Uh, following the literature searching, uh, we can utilize the powerful analysis functions of Web of Science to analyze all of this large number of papers as a whole. Uh, how to get a general overview of my research topic and how to find high productive uh, authors and uh, researchers and also very productive uh, organizations and universities in my research topics. Uh, this kind of uh, questions can be answered with just one click uh, on the top right here. You can see the button analyze results. Uh, in with this kind of analyze results functions, uh, there are various dimensions like organizational analysis and funding agency analysis, and also journal analysis and author analysis we can use to analyze all of the uh, papers in our research topics. Uh, maybe we can use it to find uh, uh, the main journals, uh, journal list uh, focusing on our research topic. Uh, useful for our uh, manuscripts subscriptions in, in, in sub submissions in the future and also find some very uh, representative uh, universities and very re representative authors in my research topics uh, for further tracing and also uh, a kind of uh, uh, connection buildings. Uh, using the organization analysis, we can find the most productive organizations in uh, AI and deep learning areas. Uh, uh, just take the Zhejiang University's X and example to do the further uh, uh, also analysis here. We can see the representative researchers of Zhejiang universities in AI areas. It is quite interesting that uh, more productive, uh, the, the, most, the most productive researchers, Professor He, comes from agricultural information technology institutions, and his research focus, uh, and his researches focus on in the, uh, a kind of intelligent ag agricultures, and he can be a kind of a, uh, can be considered as a kind of a good example for interdisciplinary research, and he contribute most of the papers for AI areas in Zhejiang universities. Uh, through author analysis, it is very easy for us to identify representative res researchers and find ideal potential uh, professors and uh, 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 also a kind of uh, ideal potential partners and uh, co-authors for our uh, research collaborations in the futures. With conference analysis, we can find the most relevant and productive academic conference in AI and deep learning uh, research areas and research topics. Uh, for us, maybe we can uh, pay more attention in the future for this kind of uh, the main uh, relevant and productive research conferences. After paper searching and uh, uh, area analysis for this topic analysis for our research topics, I believe there must be uh, plenty of papers come to us. Uh, how to manage them very efficiently? Uh, first, 
I think it is better for us to catch up with the latest research development of our research topics and interest research areas. Uh, Web of Science provides us with alert and citation alert to automatically send us through email the latest papers in the research topics or journals we are interested in. Uh, first of all, we need a Web, of, a Web of Science account for ourselves. You can use your own email address and to create your own account in Web of Science platform. And then after paper searching, we find what we want and what we uh, need to read in the future. And also what, uh, what, uh, what are the most important papers we uh, pay attention to, to for the literature review. Uh, we can use the button on the left, create an alert here. Uh, and then uh, this can help us to trace and track the latest papers and research programs and developments of a certain research topics or, and also for a certain academic journals and for a certain uh, uh, individual authors and uh, uh, universities also. After finishing the uh, setting options here, uh, here we have to uh, enter the alert name, uh, our e email address and also frequencies to create alert. Then the latest papers will be sent to your email ad address daily or weekly or monthly uh, and assist, assist you to trace the research development and uh, 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 research development in your topic. Also, you can find create citation alert on the right here. Uh, by creating citation alert, all the citing articles reviewing the research development after this, a certain uh, paper uh, will be sent to your email address also. Uh, besides catching up with the latest, uh, efficiently manage what we already have is also very important. Uh, so how do you usually uh, manage your references? Uh, today, I'd like to share with you uh, EndNote Online for references management. Uh, you can use your Web of Science account directly in EndNote Online platform. Uh, it is totally free. Uh, in Web of Science, after the paper searching, maybe we can choose the papers that we want to make references or read further, uh, just, just tick them here and then click export to EndNote Online by clicking the button here. And then all of these papers uh, will be, uh, will be uh, scanned into the EndNote Online website and you can manage, manage them and group them and also share, share them with your colleagues and also your classmates uh, in EndNote Online platform. Additionally, uh, you can also import resources and papers from other data, the data sets and databases, uh, just like IEEE databases uh, into EndNote Online for further uh, references management. In next step, uh, when we uh, when we write our papers, EndNote can also help a lot, a lot in uh, citation formatting and uh, automatically uh, uh, references inserting. Uh, whether the references format is right or not uh, is related directly uh, to the success of paper submission. Uh, numbers of journal editors have mentioned that and some of the China, uh, authors and researchers from China have the problems in the uh, references formatting, uh, which directly uh, influence the, the success of paper submission. And we know reference formats are very different uh, in different journals, different uh, research fields. And here, uh, EndNote helps us to automatically insert, format, and sort references according to the requirement of journals, uh, which would save ourselves uh, tons of times. Uh, only need to 
only we need to download a free plugin through through EndNote Online. You can find it here uh, in format. Uh, it is called Cite While You Write, a free plugin. Uh, and then by downloading this free plugin, uh, you can uh, insert and format uh, references uh, very uh, automatically in your word when you write your papers. Then after uh, the download, uh, the download of a uh, site while you write plugin, when writing your paper in Word, uh, just click and note plugin, and then we choose insert citations and we can uh, achieve this kind of uh, references in search uh, automatically by EndNote platform. Uh, if you would like to format citations to meet different journals requirements, uh, you can use styles here and choose the journal title uh, uh, and choose the journal title that you want and then the citation will be for a reformat uh, automatically to meet the journal's requirements. And if you would like to have a try, uh, just uh, click the EndNote Online uh, linkage in Web of Science platform, and you can use the same account uh, you have used in Web of Science platform uh, to log into EndNote Online and to do the uh, just like info uh, references management and uh, references in search and uh, uh, citation formatting uh, very easily in this platform. Uh, finally, uh, when we finish our paper working, it is time for uh, the paper submission. Uh, if we submit our paper to uh, improper journals, the rate of uh, rejection and unfair peer review might probably increase. Uh, how to find uh, uh, proper journals uh, for us, for our paper to, uh, to do the submission. Uh, with Web of Science, we can also uh, easily choose proper journals through result analysis. Uh, click the button here, a source um, title. Hello, sorry, can you? Um, I think we are running a little short of time at this point, uh, since we're okay. supposed to finish by five. So, uh, and I know this part is about uh, submitting your papers and then finding peer review, uh, peer reviewers. So maybe yeah. if possible, can you uh, speed up a little bit uh, so that we okay. can resume some yeah. other times. Yeah, okay, thanks. just run out of time, yeah. Yeah. For the uh, subscri uh, for the submission paper submission, we can use uh, source titles here to do the uh, journal analysis and uh, help us to find uh, uh, high performing journals in certain research topics. And this kind of journal list we can uh, uh, to uh, we can use to do our uh, uh, submission in the future. Uh, and also with the journal impact factor here, uh, we can find uh, how impactful a certain journal is in its web of science categories. And also EndNote help us to do a kind of automatically uh, uh, journal, uh, journal, journal finds uh, for our papers. Uh, it helps us to find the best fit journals for uh, your uh, manuscript. Uh, you can use it and try it by yourself in EndNote Online platform uh, after the training. Uh, just enter your, uh, the title and abstract of your manuscript and it can find the best fit journals by data analyzing uh, totally automatically. And finally, I'd like to share with you some uh, something about uh, Publins. Uh, it is famous for uh, peer review, but now it can be regarded uh, as a a good a, a kind of a very good uh, uh, 
a good platform uh, for uh, researchers themselves uh, to communicate with the uh, whole research community around the world and enhance their research impact. Uh, here you can see it is the public's personal homepage and profile of uh, Professor Zhang in our universities. Uh, his publications and peer review records are shown here. And also some metrics just like publication increase and trend of time cited uh, tell others the research impact of him. And you can see the whole page uh, of his uh, personal, personal profile in Publins platform. And also Publins provide us with freedom, uh, free online courses, Publins Academy. Uh, it introduces us the whole process of peer review and help us to become a master of peer reviewer. Uh, you, can, uh, you can see here uh, from the each part of our articles, the, the introduction and also the methodology and the results and uh, also finally the conclusion parts. Uh, in each of these parts, uh, how uh, peer reviewers uh, focuses on and they pay, more atten pay attention to when doing uh, reviewings, you can use this kind of online courses in Publins platform uh, to learn more by yourselves about peer review. And finally, uh, in the homepage, you can find some very helpful tips yeah, for very helpful. Yeah. And Thank you. yeah, this is the technical support uh, uh, forms and emails uh, during your mm -hmm. using. Yeah, if you have any questions about Web of Science or uh, just like EndNote and problems, you can use the forms and emails here to contact with, with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ting Ying. Um, we just got a fresh question about the PowerPoint slides. Uh, I wonder, can you share the slides with us later, and then we can share it with our students? Yeah, I can slides. share the yeah I can share the slides with you uh, through email just after okay, the great time. great thank you. Uh, and then now I will just do the screen from you, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't mind. I just okay. to go back to the uh, um, the I just want to highlight. The, uh, how it looks from our side, uh, okay, since, uh, some of the products that actually we don't have access to. Okay. So uh, as everyone can see here, this is our, uh, how it looks from our subscription. Uh, the filter results by actually we cannot see the highly cited hot paper options. We can only see the uh, open access option uh, for those papers that is uh, open access. And also the check full text at HKBU library icon is uh, uh, customized to our institution. So this is, uh, I just want to quickly highlight uh, this difference. Um, and then uh, as I just highlighted, uh, clarified before, that we actually don't have access to EISI, which is this essential science indicators. So this is, um, although the link is there, but actually we don't have access to this product, but we have insights, we have, uh, journal in citation reports. EndNote link is over there. Uh, online version is free. Publons, as uh, Tingyu mentioned, you can build up your uh, knowledge on peer review and also the publishing process uh, by attending that online course that is also free. And also we have the Corporeal, Corporeal, Corporeal. Uh, Corporeal. yes, uh, this is a plugin that you can use to get uh, just one click for tax access to those papers, which provide uh, free access and also subscription based access uh, that we have at HKBU library. Okay. Um, this is uh, the, uh, just want to highlight this. And then uh, last thing, uh, as mentioned earlier, is about uh, today's feedback survey. So I'm just going, going to quickly uh, copy this link uh, and then share it into the chat box so that everyone can uh, let us know your feedback for team session today. Uh, we are session nine, so please type in 009 in the uh, session code. So very brief survey, please do let us know how you think. Um, and then in the meanwhile, oh, I see Professor Liu has a question about uh, the uh, research front. So um, if maybe if 
convenient. Uh, Professor Liu, you can unmute yourself. Okay, I, okay, I just unmuted question. myself. Thank, thank you very thank much you, thank for you. Uh, such a, a lot of information. I just want yeah. to know, you seem to feature uh, Chinese institutions, academies. Um, yeah. Do you also collaborate with non-Chinese institutions for research fronts? Uh, I think in Japan, we have some, uh, some similar kind of uh, cooperations and collaborations with their, uh, just like uh, CAS in Japan, uh, to publish uh, uh, research France reports. But I don't think uh, they have such kind of lo long-term cooperations, just like us and uh, uh, just between us and uh, uh, CAS in China. Uh, we published uh, 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 research France reports from the year of 2014. Uh, uh, nearly uh, during the six years, uh, yearly we do this kind of operations. But in uh, in other countries or, uh, around the world, I uh, I'm not quite sure they have this kind of long term cooperations. But they have some uh, research rounds reports also. Yeah. So uh, okay. So this is related to my question about you know, for example, if we want to uh, look at all those uh, features and then also the, the numbers, does that mean that? Uh, because it's, um, uh, you collaborated with the, those Chinese institutions. So we're talking about uh, what we see in those reports are mainly um, um, research done by Chinese scholars. Is that correct? Uh, uh, we do this kind of research from analysis based on Web of Science uh, data and ESI data. It's not limited to uh, uh, Chinese authors' paper or their research work, work out, uh, outputs, uh, but it, it is all around the world. And uh, I think it's not a kind of uh, uh, innovation and insights only focuses on Chinese research. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, any other questions? Okay, uh, I know I uh, think covered a lot of uh, products and also services uh, you provided. It's very comprehensive. And then uh, for us uh, librarians, we do highlight web science in our trainings, uh, especially for research students and also senior students who are doing uh, family year projects. So really a lot of things to cover. And then if you, uh, I think you probably have lots of questions about the uh, futures. So mm -hmm. my recommendation for you is do try using web science and then let us know. Uh, let first of all let librarians know if you have any questions and then uh, we will try to work on and then customize our answers to you uh, like, like uh, according to your research project okay um i see probably no no further questions mm -hmm. um so so if not then i will just uh, uh like seek from uh, support from the floor students uh, who attended the session to give a round of virtual applause, uh, reactions, and thank you notes uh, to Tini for her time uh, joining us uh, for this session. And then I hope to see you in our future events. Uh, and then do let us know, contact us by email or by social con uh, like social media network uh, for questions and uh, future uh, uh, like research support. Okay. Thank you everyone. And then um, the CCL credit will probably be processed in about two weeks. So uh, you can check your record from the, um, the learning, learning system, learning experience system uh, later on. And then let us know if you uh, still couldn't get it in about uh, maybe two weeks, I think. Okay. Thank you everyone Thank you. for your time. Have a good uh, weekend. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, team. Thank, Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm going to uh, stop the sharing. Share, sharing. <laughs> yes, there it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, bye bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.